going to use this Ackerman G nib pen to ink this little illustration here. So I hope you guys enjoy. And if you have any questions regarding Ackerman pump action pens, or if you would like to see anything specifically demonstrated, please don't hesitate to let me know in the comments below. So one of the problems that comes from these pump action pens pins is the pump is here right where your hand rests and the pin itself covers that so it um, when you're recapping the pin it often will um, press the pump basically and um, so ink will fill your cap and that was a problem with the music nibbed Ackerman, Ackerman pin that I own and as loath as I am to admit it, this is just regular Strathmore sketchbook paper. So it does have a little bit of a texture and there may be uh, issues with feathering because this is not a particularly high quality paper, but we'll find out. And this pin was purchased out of my own pocket due to an interest in um, fountain pens and in fountain pens for drawing and in G-nibbed fountain pens. In fact, I have made my own um, Jin Hao X750 mod with a G-nib and these they do handle a fair bit differently because there is less of the nib exposed in the Ackerman pin. You're not going to get quite as much flex. So if you found that the G-nib Jin Hao is a little too flexy for you, and I'm sure many people who are not calligraphers may feel that way, myself included, this may be a good alternative. And I am using Platinum Carbon Black Ink, which is a pigment-based fountain pen ink. starting to get a fair bit of railroading with some of these larger, longer lines that I'm trying to draw. I'm not sure if I'm running out of ink and that's why it's happening or if there's some other reason behind it. Unfortunately, with the Ackerman pins, um, these are their pump action, but you cannot fill them through the pump. The pump is only to extract more ink to the tip of your pen. So, and I don't have, they did send um, additional carts that I could fill with ink so that, you know, you can switch your, your ink cartridges out quickly on the go, which is great, but I didn't fill mine. So, um, I'm just gonna have to try and persist because it's a little bit of a pain in the butt to refill these if you don't have a spare cart ready for you. And when I say a cart, I'll show you guys when I'm finished what I'm talking about. It's not truly a cartridge. This isn't a cartridge-based pen the way we tend to talk about cartridge-based pens. There's a little reservoir inside, like a little, little plastic tube, basically, that you pre-fill with ink from a dropper. And I don't know about you guys, but that is never a truly delicate situation when I do that. Of course, I have a hair caught in this. Boy, those boots look wonky as heck. Gotta be careful. Uh, the sketchbook paper took this all pretty well to begin with. Um, but you don't really want to go over areas until they're dry because it will tear. It's sturdy, but not that sturdy. Damn it. 
So, okay, I was drawing this long line close to her face and it just sputtered on it because it caught on the paper and it's a little too juicy. See how much ink is on there? That caused it to sputter. Awesome, great. And that's the sort of thing that if I was gonna color this, I wouldn't be able to correct that until the very, very end when everything else is done. So that's super. But otherwise, I really didn't have that many problems with it. There were a few railroading issues. Um, that sputter doesn't really make me happy, but that's okay because these are fountain pens or fountain-esque pens that are designed for artists to use. And I was using the wrong type of paper. I was really sort of um, pushing buttons there. So I will just deal with that later when I'm ready to erase. I'm gonna go ahead and cap. Oh yeah, I promised to show you guys the backs. Let me move this way out of the way. So, back screws off and it's got this little reservoir here. Let me see if I can, because this has ink in it and I would normally never remove this while there's still ink in it because I am prone to messes. And uh, so you guys are just gonna have to watch my unboxing video where I go over this and the music nib and I show you guys how these sort of are put together. But um, this actually holds, this goes pretty far into the pen and it holds more ink than you would think, but it has to be filled by eyedropper. You can't pump this like you would with other fountain pen, um, pump action fountain pens. You can't pump it like that. And when you put the cap back on, there is a little hole right here. And that needs to be open because it releases air pressure, um, which is fine with my G nib, but with my music nib, that's actually not enough. Um, and it will push down too much anyway. So I think there's a pressure problem with my music nib uh, Ackerman pen, and I may switch it out for the drawing nib that they included. But anyway, that is a drawing demonstration, or an inking demonstration rather, with the Ackerman G nib pen. I hope you guys found this helpful, and I hope you found it useful. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Becca Hilburn. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.